Night time for another episode of Thrifty Business with J and A. I'm your one host, Vegas J. Crazy J tonight, apparently. I'm and I'm Philly Nay. Hi, everybody. What's happening? We have a wonderfully special guest tonight. I'm gonna see if I can not butcher his name. It is David Mara Diega. Perfect. That was hey! awesome, man. That's it. We're done. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. David is an awesome oh, YouTuber. Uh, I love his videos. We're gonna talk about that, but let's get right to our first segment. Jay's Tiki Talk, where each week I try and match up <clears throat> a rum and a mug with our guest. And, and David was a little bit of a challenge. He lives in the mountains of Georgia, born in Queens, grew up in Central Florida. So I figured it out. You ready? Pretty good. I, I think I came through pretty good. For starters, I have rum from Florida called Papa's Pilar. And David is a father. So Papa, father. See what I did there? Uh-huh. And he lives in the mountains of Georgia. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, there is a hillbilly tiki mug wearing a <laughs> coonskin cap, mountain man drinking out of a rum jug. Wow, that's so interesting. Cheers, cheers <laughs> to you, David. That's so awesome. The only problem is this mug is so tiny, I have to have a sidecar. A sidecar. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And what are you drinking tonight, Nay? I have a V8 Tropical Punch. Yeah. Nice. Living it up tonight. <laughs> All right, David, hang out. We'll see you in about half an hour. We'll get to our segments, and uh, we'll see you soon. Sounds good. All right, let's get right into it. Now we've done Tiki Talk. It is time for... May's Breast Cancer Update and Fact of the Week. Yeah, so I'm doing okay. A little tired. I'm, I have my surgery exactly two weeks from today. I will be in the hospital. Um for my surgery. So not looking forward to that, but looking forward to getting it over with. So, um, and my pictures uh, tonight that I'm showing are of uh, the breast cancer event that I told you guys about last week. It's called Living Beyond Breast Cancer's Reach and Raise event. And it's on the art museum steps, the Rocky steps, the ones that Jason hasn't ever seen those <laughs> and uh, it's a it's a yoga event and it's 2,000 people in unison doing yoga on the art museum steps it's absolutely amazing and those on the upper right are two of my breast cancer sisters Robin and Megan um, on the upper left you can see the courage I put the courage in the front the Lily Pulitzer Ford bandana that Jason sent me I wore and then um, I met a couple uh, Quincy Harris he does a show called the Q that's local in Philly it's local Philly talk show but he's going to be doing a national show this summer um, it's going to be his his talk shows going national so and he was really sweet he talked to me for like a half hour he said I inspired him it was amazing and then Sue Serio is one of our local news anchors I met her she was really super nice she hugged me and everything um, so it was a really great event and I got to to meet some uh, you know some uh, some great people so and then the next uh, picture there is me, um, this is my, uh, I'm strong, I'm stronger than cancer photo, um, in front of the Rocky statue, so, and, um, you know, I am, I am stronger than fan cancer, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight, I'm gonna fight, 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 so, that's that, so, thank you for listening. Cool, all right, and I, I forgot to show the back of the, uh, the mug here, to really show you it is a, a mountain man mug, it's a yeehaw aloha. Oh, that's funny. That's very funny. All right, let's get right into it, shall we? Time for our scores of the week, where Nay and I share our good scores this week. You know, it's going to be a lot of bolos and all kinds of cool stuff like that. So, if you remember, I did a haul a, a while back from New York City. My wife and I were standing in a park in New York City, and I had bought this awesomely heavy uh, cape. <clears throat> had no brand. 
no brand, but it was, I mean, the zipper was the most heavy duty zipper you've ever seen. And of course, when does it sell? It sells on the hottest day of the summer so far in Vegas yesterday for $48 when it was like 103 degrees here. So it was very odd to sell a poncho to anywhere in the United States right now. I mean, I know it's rainy someplace, but it ain't cold. Yeah. Oh, it's cold here. But, but uh, yeah, so this sold. And uh, so I was very happy for that to go. And for those of you uh, in a pop culture bubble, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Nadine, yeah, yeah. Uh, Wonder Woman comes out in a week or a week and a half, and I just put up this scrub, and it sold like that. So obviously, someone is very excited for the Wonder Woman movie to come out. Cool. Uh, and uh, something I'm going to be talking more about in the Tiki webinar, which I'm redoing, and I'll talk a little bit more about that towards the end of the show. I picked up this Tiki mug at a garage sale for 10 bucks. I listed the other night, sold it an hour and a half later for $130. Tiki mugs are out there. They're at garage sales. They can be found, and you can make a lot, a lot, a lot of money, and that's what I teach. But speaking of Tiki stuff, I picked up this Disney uh, Land for $33, and I just sold it this week for, yes, you're reading that correctly, $499. 99. Yes, I sold this shirt for $500. And that is my second one I've sold. The first one I sold for 400. And I got one more. So uh, that is another thing we're gonna be talking about during the Tiki Talk webinar. Okay, so you killed me on the scores this week. Um, I have not been listing like I should be listing. So um, that would help. But um, my scores are not as robust as yours this week, but I sold, um, let's see, I sold eight. This bra, it was new with tags, and I did get it free, so that's a good thing. And uh, $19.99 plus $2 shipping, $2.85 shipping, so that was a good, a good little score. And... What else did I? Okay. Oh, I just I sold this. Uh, th this is tapestry wool, and and usually you don't want to sell this unless it's in a big lot. Like you're not going to sell one. You're not going to sell, you know, one or two skeins of this. So, um, I sold the whole thing. I put it up for fifty, but I got an offer for thirty, and I took it. And that was a good. That was a good price for um for that lot that size lot of this of this particular vintage Paragon, um, embroidery tapestry yarn. So. And, oh, you'll like this one, Jason. I sold a little girl's Hawaiian dress. So there's a uh, kid's clothes, Hawaiian, Hawaiian kid clothes. So, yeah, yeah. Hey, kid clothes. <laughs> yeah, but it's Hawaiian. And uh, I sold it for, I took an offer, a best offer. She actually uh, gave me an offer of 10 and I countered at $14.99 plus shipping. And she took that, which was good because, you know, kids clothes don't, don't sell for as much as adults clothes. So I wasn't expecting to get the full $24.99, but I paid like a dollar for it. So. And then this guy sold randomly. Um, it was weird because I was cleaning out my inventory and I almost donated him. Like I came this close to donating him. I was like, this guy is never going to sell. I'm just, I'm... and then for some reason I stuck him back in the bin and he sold the next day. So $24.99 plus shipping, not bad. Um, and my friend Christine actually sent him to me. So thank you, Christine. Awesome. Yeah. All right. You've seen our scores. Now it's time for the Duds of the Week, brought to you by WorthPoint. WorthPoint is the largest resources, resource for identifying, researching, and valuing antiques, art, and vintage collectibles. And uh, part of the end of this week, beginning of next week, I will have a discount for if you're in the thrifting board, we will have a 10% off discount for you. So if you're thinking about signing up for WorthPoint, make sure you're in my Facebook group, the thrifting board, and you can save 10%. So we use WorthPoint to figure out what not to sell, but sometimes we still screw up. So here's Nadine's first mess up. Oh gosh, I've had this thing up forever and I sold it finally. I had it up for $39.99. It was a new with tags, like a new old stock vintage 70s lounge dress. But what I didn't notice before I bought it, new old stock tags and everything, was that it had a tear in the back. So I had to reduce the price for that. And it was a noticeable tear. So I did disclose that, took pictures. And I got a best offer this week for $15. And I was glad to see it go. So bye bye. Yes. 
and uh, oh, this skirt sat forever. This is one of my mistake purchases, and I had it up for. I've had it on sale. I've had. It, I mean, it's just been there forever, and it, it's it's a junior size. The odd sizes are junior sizes, so that might be why it sat. But I don't know. I finally got a best offer for ten dollars with free shipping, and I was Woo! like, sure, take it, take it. But yeah, so yes. So my first dud uh, didn't sell for 45, actually sold for 25 and it still made a profit. I only spent two bucks on it, but this sucker is huge. And so it is a dud because it did not command the money that I thought it would. And to take the time to pack it, and I didn't really charge enough for shipping, but uh, that's here nor there. The, the time it took to pack it properly so it wouldn't break along the way, I realized halfway through packing this four and a half pound cookie jar that, boy, what a waste of time. I have all this stuff that isn't listed and I listed something that it just took too long to ship. So when you're, when you're, you know, don't be afraid of big and fragile stuff, but make sure it's going to bring you the money that is worth the time to ship. This was not worth the time to ship. Yeah, that's a good point. And, and Nadine, can you see what's wrong with this listing right here? Um, the keywords like new, uh, it says brand new and sealed. And then it says like new in the item condition. Yeah. You're missing the most obvious. Look at the cover and then look at my title. Yeah. I oh. kind of merged. I kind of merged two CD yeah, listings okay. together. Got it. Got it. Got it. The customer thought he was getting the picture and what he got was the title. Oh, so, that's a, that's not Make good. sure you're very specific when you do your listings. You yeah, don't have yeah. half of one listing and half of another listing. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, unhappy customer, obviously. All right, now it is time for... <laughs> that water went down the wrong oh place. My. It's time for the Heimlich Maneuver. Are it you is time for the counters with the thrifty kind, kind, kind. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I was just, that was just water, too. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> so, um, mine is funny because... I have an Aunt Dottie and an Uncle Ron uh, who live in a completely <laughs> different state, and they did not donate these mugs to my local Goodwill, I am 100% sure. Yet, when I looked on the Goodwill shelf, there right next to each other were a Dottie and a Ron mug. Like, how weird is that? I mean, it's not like, and they're, they don't go by Ronnie or Dorothy or Dot. They go by Dottie and Ron, just like that. So, very weird. They were next to each other and um, very bizarre. So, that was my thrifty encounter. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty funny. And yeah. usually our, our, our thrifty encounters are with direct people, funny encounters, uh, annoying encounters, you know, stuff like that. So Nadine's thrifty encounter was to uh, ceramic items, and so was mine because I found. Look, we've we've shared many things in the group about like things you find at the thrift store, and you go, "He yuck." Well, my thrifty encounter this week was the ultimate in e yuck. You ready? Yeah, that's a ceramic urinal. Oh no! <laughs> oh, God. oh wait, but wait, it oh, gets no. better. Oh no! Don't tell me there was oh, like yeah, there's crust. Oh, side has been used. <laughs> and of was course, it in the base I section? had to take pictures. Did they? Uh, the front row of savers is like the weird tchotchke section. Well, that's I love a weird that tchotchke. Good stuff there. <laughs> oh my! Okay. Yeah, yeah that's that's weird yeah. that we both had like weird oh, oh, ceramic yeah. items. Yeah. Angelique is saying that as a female urinal. Oh, yeah, I'm aware of that with the opening, yes. As a female urinal that has been used. And why Sabres price it put it out and ju didn't just throw uh, it away is what, beyond me. What was the price at? I'm curious to know. I remember. But it was <laughs> like 10 bucks. 10 bucks wow. for this used pot. <laughs> wow. That's, yeah. All right, okay. now it's well. time for our thrifty tips of the week brought to you by Stamps.com. Postage on demand. Stamps.com's online posted service enables small businesses, enterprises, and online retailers like me, Nadine, and all of you to print U.S. Postal Service approved postage with just a computer, printer, and an internet connection right from their home or office. And any of you who won presents, uh, prizes from the 25,000 uh, uh, um, surfer in my thrifting board group, I use Stamps.com to ship out all your prizes this week. So I love Stamps.com. Okay, so my thrifty tip is do not be, and I'm going to use Jay, one of Jason, one of my favorite Jason words here. Do not be hoodwinked by, by, um, <laughs> by, um, 
by thrift store, by new with tags items that are put in the boutique section because the thrift store thinks they're new with tags, but it's really um, a, a tag from either another thrift store or a consignment <laughs> shop. So if, if you didn't know what Buffalo Exchange was, you would probably think that was a you know, a fancy store of some sort, but it is a resale store. It's, it's, uh, so they put these out for five ninety nine dollars in the boutique section because they thought they were new with tags, but they were not. And, um, when I look this brand up, it's called K2. You can see in the next picture that, um, they actually sell for much less than, um, than the, um, Goodwill tag price. Yeah. Wait. There yeah, there was picture? another picture, but that's okay. We'll just uh, there. It's a hot topic. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah I'm sure. If you look in the thread, I download, I download every picture in order as you as you give, no, me, give there it was, to me. Yep, and it was right after that picture. So anyway, so so what it look like? It, it has it says leggings K2 right after the it's thrifty. I put thrifty tip, and then I put that picture, and then I put right. the other picture. Sorry, right, girl. I I'll go back and look, but I didn't. See well, anyway, bad. so I'm looking at that picture that Jason didn't put up here right now, and it says. And and the first one, it's a Hot Topic brand. Um, there was a, one that sold for two ninety nine, one that sold for crossed out fourteen ninety nine. Best offer accepted, five ninety nine. Brand new, brand new. Those were brand new. And another one, the best sale was twelve ninety nine. But they were leatherette. They were they were fake leather. So yeah, not a good brand. Leatherette. Yes. So so don't be um, hoodwinked by the yes by the uh, all vessel. right. So here's my thrifty tip. Uh, I picked up this mug, and as you can see, he's got a little chip right there. Now, chips will stand out. When I sell it, I will make sure to say it was a chip, but the chip is in the eyebrow. So to make the chip go bye-bye, just get your black Sharpie, and now we have no more chip. Ah. So, so I'll, I'll wipe off the little excess that went onto the ceramic because it'll really adhere to the chip. And now there is no more chip. Ta-da! So I have not, I've done this with more than just black. You can really make, I do, I make chips go away on tiki mugs all the time. I still indicate that there was a chip and I'll probably put a little arrow to it. But since you can't see it, someone will still mm -hmm. be happily display this on their shelf. Yeah, definitely. So Good don't tip. pass chip stuff when it's easily fixed because that one was pretty easy. You saw it happen. You saw the magic happen right here on Thrifty Business with Jay and they. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm in one of those moods. Uh, All right, I now know. it's time You're for. Just, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you have got to be shipping me. Brought to you by Bubble Fast. <clears throat> uh, Family-owned business providing quality shipping supplies to the online community since 1999. Bubble Fast, the internet's home for shipping supplies. And as you can see, our code right there, J. And nay, if you plug that in, you get 10% off your entire order. Do not buy crappy bubble wrap. I'm still paying the price because I bought so much of it. I cannot wait to get done with this crap and buy good bubble wrap from Bubble Fast because they actually carry good bubble wrap and there are different qualities of bubble wrap. That is so true. And my shipping tip is if you happen to have women's shoes, specifically women's shoes, because men's shoes tend to be bigger, um, that are a size that will fit in a regional A box and they are heavier than two pounds. Most women's shoes ship at the two pound rate. So you can put them in um, in a regular shoe box at the two pound, you can use a regional A because it goes at the two pound rate anyway. But if you have heavier shoes like these Doc Martens, for example, that are gonna go at the three or four pound rate, um, use a regional A. It's, it's great for, um, you know, all except for, you know, when you get to the higher sizes, like, they can be hard to fit in. But it's a great box for shoes, and it goes at the two-pound rate, so you're going to save money there. Cool. All right. So, uh, chat, how many of you know what this is, and do you use it? Or maybe I should say, is anyone watch? This is called the Tyvek envelope. It goes by weight, so there is no flat rate or regional. But what... I, I don't know if I've ever shown this before, but what you can do is if you have something too long that isn't all that breakable, and you, you know, so here we have it in the Tyvek, but look, it's kind of short. All you do, that's a little throwback to one of our other guests. All love you do, it. Love it. All you do is take a second one and slide it over top. And now we have, ta da! So what I'll do is I'll peel off this side. Sticky it down, 
So that's all sealed. Yeah. And then I'll, yeah. then I'll tape this side. And so we are good to go with one package. I have done that before. That's a great tip. So it's kind of like Frank and boxing, but there's no box involved. It's Frank and right. back, Yeah. Yeah. Frank and back. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Who has Frank and Tyvek before? Oh, I All right. Now, yes. now it's time for. Our eBay tip of the week brought to you by Free Up. <clears throat> Free Up with three E's is the hands on solution to hire remote e commerce workers. Free Up vets hundreds of workers a week. So you get access to the top 1% of online talent whenever you need them. Sign up is free. No monthly fees, no minimum hours. Get the workers you need when you need them and only pay for the hours they work. Brenda, hey, Brenda, is a loyal watcher of our show here. She heard Nate when he was on, is now on her way to building a remote empire with her team of free up workers. Go to freeup.com with three E's to start to free up your time and scale your business. All right, so here's my eBay tip. Uh, I've, gosh, I've said this tip so many times, but I just sold this. I wanted to bring it up again. When you are selling multiple items, like for instance, five vintage Vegas ashtrays, do not, do not put them in a long line of five things because A, eBay gives you square photos. B, a lot of people are shopping on their mobile. So it's a tiny little picture. Take your five things or your four things or, or three or whatever and, and, and make them in a nice square shape. So we took the five ashtrays and basically made a cross. I'm selling 12 of the same whiskey uh, mug and you'll see those pictures coming up soon. I'll, I'll do that in a show or two. But we built this awesome pyramid. And so you don't have to have this long line of stuff. Combine it in a nice, tight square. Good tip. All right. And mine, that's the wrong photo, but that's okay. Um. <laughs> What's the wrong photo? That's the wrong photo. This... Oh, yeah. There's the one oh, that this... I wanted to show for the Oh, leggings. I'm sorry. I thought those two went together. So pretend no. we're a couple segments back. Here's Nadine's picture. Yeah, there you go. So sorry, and the other one... I thought these two went together. No, no, no. You were so all right. Then, so here's there was another tip. one with black. Oh gosh, there was another one with black lines around it. But just imagine that th those are two separate screens. You can't tell because there's a white line there. But on the top, you see. Um, you always fill out your store categories. This is on mobile, but you have the choice to do two store categories. So especially like in women's clothing, what I will do is never, never, never choose other. Now I do have things in other that I have to get out of other. I think we all do, but um, never choose. Always to pick two store categories because they, they give you, like, if you have a mug, you can put it, and it's a Disney mug, you can do Disneyana and Dis and uh, mugs. Um, I do two store categories for all my clothing. I put it, I organize them by size and by clothing article. So you have women's clothing pants and then the size that it would be. So um, use your two categories and categorize your store wisely. Very true. And, uh, I want to, before we get to our segment, I do want to, I don't usually do this. I do want to answer something in the chat because I think it's important to know. Aaron Austin said eBay mobile app doesn't seem to do square photos, but your phone does. So the best yeah. thing to do always is, look, I find that when you use an app to use your camera on your phone, for instance, if you're taking a picture for Facebook or sending, if I'm sending Nadine a picture of, a, of some yarn from the thrift store and I take the picture in the Facebook messenger, even though it's the same camera, when the app uses it, I don't find the quality is nearly as good as if I'm just shooting straight with the camera on the iPhone or if you have an Android. So take your pictures first with the phone, the camera on the phone, and then when you're in your app to list, then you just bring them up from your library. So just a little added tip right there for tonight. Okay. Now it is time for a thrift outside your comfort zone. I have no clue what... Um, what our sound effect is for this? Oh, pick one. I'll, we'll be we'll be excited to know what you're going to pick tonight. Oh, there we go. I knew it was going to be. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll do a different sound effect each week for this one. There we go. I like I like uh, that idea. That'll that'll entertain me to no end. I hope it entertains you guys. But oh every each gosh. week will be a new sound. Effect. All right. Tripped outside your comfort zone. Me and I have said this uh, what a million times, Nadine, because mm -hmm. you are good at what you do, but. The only way to be a better thrifter and a better online seller is to get outside your comfort zone 
and try new stuff. That's why you see Nadine holding CDs and me in a dress. Well, you'd probably see me in a dress anyway, but that's- Oh, you're also in front of the kids section, which you, yeah. Yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. That's the bigger thing. So, my first here? That's why you're up. Okay, oh, I didn't know I was up on the big screen, okay. Sorry. So here. Okay, sorry. Is, hey, Nadine, you're up. My bad. <laughs> thank you. Hey, yeah, up. I can't. I can't tell them. Sorry, I was, so, I was drinking rum. I'm very sorry. So uh, this is out of my comfort zone because first of all, it's men's clothing, it's sports related, and it's also a Hawaiian shirt. So those are not things that I usually sell. So it's the Phillies, um, our local baseball team, and it's a Phillies Hawaiian shirt, and it also has something to do with automobiles because it's. Uh, Double branded uh, with Chevy. Yeah, with automobiles. Oh, all cool. right, all right. Make fun of me. So it's also double branded with Chevy. So it's uh, um, that's a quote from a movie, you dork. Oh, well, I wouldn't know that. You know, I wouldn't know that. You never saw Sixteen Candles? I did see Sixteen Candles. I don't remember that line. Though. Automobile? No. <laughs> so anyway, so you know, I don't sell. I don't usually sell things that are, that are you know auto related, sports or sports or related. men's. Men's clothing is not really my my uh, comfy zone. So there you go. That's my item. Okay, and so to stay true to really fashion, they pulled out a men's, you know, look look at this picture. She's holding up a men's sports shirt. Mm-hmm. Oops. Is it not? Oh, there we go. And I'm wearing a dress, and I will, I am very good at buying Hawaiian dresses, but besides that, dresses really are my thing. But this I saw in a thrift store the other day, and it was there so long it was on sale, and I was shocked. It is uh, homemade, handmade, however you want to say it. There's no brand. But the quality of this dress, like if you could feel this, Nadine, it is so heavy-duty and nice. And, I mean, look at the extra, like oh. the, little, the little, whatever you call the little nice. balls on the side. Yeah. I mean, this is gorgeous, and it was on sale for half off. It was $5.00. And it's in a spectacular dress, but there's no brand. So it's when Asian. you're outside, yeah, when you're outside your comfort zone, you might think, oh, I'm going to pass because there's no brand. But when I touch this mm -hmm. and I felt the quality, I'm like, oh, I'm so buying that. And it was at the time 10 bucks and I was still going to buy it for 10. But when I found it was half off, even better. Very but, cool. But this is the way I'll tell my comfort zone. So although I know the Asian terms, I'm still going to ask for help from Nadine and from others to make yeah. sure I get all the right keywords because I am guessing there's some term for this and I have yes, a clue. Yes, 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 yes. So I can help you with that. Um, so Brendan says, are you sure it's handmade? Well, there's no tags anywhere. Not even a, not even a, a where a tag was, not, nothing. So because of that, I'm thinking someone skilled made a hell of a dress. Hell of a dress. Very cool. Our last segment of the show is J and A's mini halls. Thank you. I'll be here all week. Tip your waitress. This is where we tease our next haul video, but and I'll tell you when that's going to be. It's tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> but go ahead. You tease first because I got to get something out. All right. So I have uh, this cute little guy here. So he's really cute, right? So he is a certain plush brand that is a big bolo. So. I will share his brand on the hall tomorrow. And it is a brand cool. that you should be looking for. It is not a US brand either. So there's your clues. And this, I'm gonna try to cover the, here, here we go. We have a box of, um, it's a, um, these are, <laughs> yeah, this no. is a, no, 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 this is a fragrance or, or you know, it, it goes in the health and beauty. Not something I usually buy. Um, but this brand sells very well, and it's also very sought after because of the fact that they um, they come out with fragrances and then they discontinue them. And there are buyers who are very loyal to those specific fragrances. So I'll talk a little bit about that um, too. All right, and I'm going to talk about this purse and the, the, actually the brand Ooh. that it is because I've always done quite well with the brand itself. And maybe you probably don't know this, but the. This is a game piece. So the game mm -hmm. that this goes to is a, a game that always sells no matter the version. Okay. So if you if you know what that game piece is, you know what we're going to talk about tomorrow. All right? So, hey, speaking of tomorrow, Thrifty Business with J&A Thrift Halls tomorrow noon mm -hmm. on the East Coast, 9 a.m. on the West Coast. I got a tub full of goodies from a couple different thrift stores out there. Some of the same uh, suspects you always see, but... Uh, we're going to talk Apple employee shirts, and I went to a garage sale where I picked up 
Not one, not two, not three, but 77 Tiki mugs at a garage sale. <laughs> Don't worry, I will not show all 77, but I will share the pictures tomorrow. So tune in tomorrow for that. Also, this weekend, Sunday, 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 Sunday. Oh, it my is God, so you're in a crazy mood. Day. <laughs> Sorry, my mom and me, JPEG. Uh, we're talking Offer Up, <clears throat> which is an app where you can buy and sell things. <clears throat> mom has never used it, even though I begged her to use it. So guess what we're going to do on the show? We're going to get her to download it. We'll do it step by step. We'll break it down nice and slow and show you how to use Offer Up. Plus, mom just had a kick-ass sale, uh, a eBay sale, so she'll talk about that. And she's got some good hauls. Also, coming up, everyone's asking me for this. The Las Vegas Thrift Class on steroids. If you're coming to eBay Open, we are throwing a kick-ass uh, thrift class on the Monday before. As soon as I can get some th one of the things I need finalized, finalized, it will be up. I promise you. People message me all day. You'll know when it's up. You'll see this kick-ass graphic that Nadine made. When you see the graphic, you best sign up because it will sell out like that. Speaking of upcoming things, Nadine's got this upcoming. Yes. And uh, that, I guess I guess I'm talking about it now. <laughs> yeah, so that I am going to yes, be doing it. Yeah. So I am going to be starting my own Facebook group called Nate's Girly Bits and Tips. And it's going to be about all the things that I love to sell and thrift and everything in my, um, you know, that's my expertise. Um, women's clothing, women's shoes, um, yarn, um, you know, everything, linens, all of that kind of stuff. So I'll be talking about that. I'll give you guys bolos and I'll be doing some short little videos here and there and some other fun things. So that'll be coming soon. So look for that. Getting built right now. And speaking yes. of getting built, we're about a third of the way done with this. Yeah, so this with is coming. Making money selling yarn. This will be a downloadable video. I think that's how we're going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we're going to get the other two thirds knocked out and we'll get that going because I know not everyone loves yarn, but Nadine makes a lot of money on yarn. Like I make mm -hmm. a lot of money on Tiki mugs. So if we can teach you our very, very specific niche, then it'll be better for you guys. Yes. Speaking of specific niches, uh, my Tiki talk went so well a couple of weeks ago and so many people missed it. I'm going to redo it and I'm not just push and play. I'm actually going to redo it live again and I'm going to take uh, new fresh live questions. So, uh, if you miss it the first time, it is only $10. Anyone in the chat right now, if you're in the chat who saw the first time, will tell you it is chock full of information and it's a lot of fun to talk about. And it's going to be uh, in two weeks. So just go to www.ecomclasses.com. I will put that in the chat right now. And then if you're watching this after the fact, it will be down below here. So uh, make sure to check that out. It's only 10 bucks. You will leave with some molos and an actual working knowledge of the history of Tiki mugs and Tiki bars and stuff. Uh, but I made it a lot of fun with a lot, a lot of content. So, uh, but, it's, but it's fun content, you know? We could talk about boring things, but uh, luckily Tiki's a very uh, non-boring topic. So tune in for that. Uh, June, I probably should have had the date ready, huh, Nadine? Yeah, so I probably should have done you another graphic. So Yeah, I think it's, it's June 6th. Oh, I thought it was the 5th, you said. Oh, maybe it's the 5th. Oh, it is the 5th or the 6th. Go to www.ecomclasses.com and it'll tell you right there. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, I should have done you another one with the date. But, Sorry about that. But what's cool right now, Nate, in the chat, people are talking about the Tiki Talk. They bought their first mm -hmm. yarn. Oh, yeah, so very cool. cool. Yeah. We love sharing great. with you guys. And then right before we get our guest in here, because my shirt goes with the Tiki Talk, people in chat were going, what's your shirt? Now, Nadine, do you know what this is? That would be, um, you told me at some point, and I did a shirt for you that was similar, and it's, a, a, yeah. One of sour, two of sweet, three of strong, four weak. This is the old school, still holds true today, way to create a cocktail. Okay. So you, uh, one of sour, like lime juice, two of sweet, like rock candy syrup, Three of strong, that would typically be your your rum, and four of weak, like orange juice or pineapple juice. So if you follow that <clears throat> formula, you can make a cocktail, and it will turn out. I mean, you got to get your right taste, but if you follow this formula, and that's how I built my two cocktails. And if you're in the chat and you've had either Pugalicious or the Conquer Republic, you will testify that we I made some good cocktails, but I use this formula to make sure it tasted right, make sure it was balanced. And so my good friend Trader Don made this shirt. And he sent me one for free. So Trader Don's the man. Go get, go buy this shirt on Amazon. It's awesome. Cool. All right. 
let's get our guest in here. Oh, I thought I turned his camera on. Ah, now you do. Is he there? He's there. David? See, hello, I don't hello. see him. That's what I was asking. Okay. All right. Hang on. Hang on. Hey, it's our guest of the week, David Mari. Ah, oh, crap. Mara Diego. I got it. I got it. I was a little <laughs> slow. I got it. Hi, David. Hey, everybody. How are you? Good. How are you? Everything is pretty what? good on my end. What's going on? Look, uh, let me let me just jump it up right off why I love David, why he's on the show tonight. A lot of people come to me and say, hey, Jay, can I put my videos in your group? And anything that goes in my group, it's kind of like I've given my stamp of approval. So I don't want things that are bad content, giving wrong information, or bore the shit out of you. And since David doesn't do any of those, I'm like, heck yeah, I love your videos. So congratulations. So I'll give you a round of applause. Yes, yes I agree. Good videos. videos. Well, I sincerely appreciate that. Thank you so much. You know, um, if you have not checked out David's videos, I had the link to his uh, to his YouTube channel. But if you want to give yourself a, a shout out right now for your YouTube channel, David. Mm -hmm. So actually, uh, the easiest way to find me on YouTube would literally just be to type in my name, David Maradiega, and uh, you will find motivation, inspiration to follow your dreams, whatever those may be. And I sprinkle in eBay tips as well. I just really just try to be a light for the rest of the world. So I hope you guys get something out of my videos every time you watch them. Oh, that's great because I'm all about motivation and inspiration. So I love that. So what? Uh, Everybody what, needs it. Yes. Oh, absolutely. So what got you started on making YouTube videos? Because I really contend, and I talked about this a little bit earlier in the in, in the thrifting board. Everyone's got a story to tell. A lot of people either don't know how to do what we do to make the videos or make this live show, and or are embarrassed, afraid. I don't look good on camera, and you know I. It, in this day and age, it's easy to broadcast. It's easy to put yourself out to the world if you want to. But I do contend everyone has a story. What made you start to want to do it? Well, uh, I got to tell you, first of all, I'm going to a huge shout out to my wife, uh, who is my biggest fan and oh. greatest supporter. Uh, tomorrow is our fifth wedding anniversary. So oh. I love you, baby, even though you're in the other room. Uh, but uh, actually, what really got me involved in just speaking my mind and broadcasting in general is my own fear, my own anxiety and depression. Um, I was uh, diagnosed with anxiety and depression just a few years ago. And sometimes you just feel like you're locked up in a room and it's maybe full of people, but you just don't feel like you can talk to anybody. And I can always talk to a camera, whether, uh, whether I feel like it's listening or not. And whether I don't think anybody might be watching my video, yes or no, uh, that doesn't really affect me. The fact is that I can uh, express myself and just kind of get my thoughts out there. That is great. And I also suffer from depression. I'm very open about that, um, along with my cancer. And, you know, doing this show every week, really, really, um, it's it helps me to stay motivated, to keep going. It, it gives me, you know, kind of, you know, a purpose to, um, and it and I love inspiring, motivating others. And that does help with, with depression and, you know, other illnesses. So that's that's great. I love that. And you're an inspiration to me. You know, it doesn't uh, it doesn't matter what anybody uh, says or thinks about you. And I say you, I mean whoever's listening. Um, there's there's always somebody in a better position, and there's always somebody that's much worse off. So you can always count your blessings, regardless of whatever situation you're in. That is so true. So I want to show um, one of your one of your videos, and it's it's this one right here with your Nerf gun pointed, and you're looking. Oh worried. yeah. <laughs> I watched because that. because that that is a key component to making a good video. Now you can when the when a video is done, like you're just making short videos. Nay and I are making an hour long show. You can after the fact put any picture you want to be what's to call the thumbnail. So if you post this link of this video anywhere, this great picture, like you took the greatest picture here, <laughs> and that's and that's one of the keys. That's why I really liked your videos because you weren't just part of the package you were the full package you, yeah. you, you got to the point they weren't long because these are just tip videos they weren't meandering and after the fact you took time even this one over here with your kind of snarl talking about vintage versus replica snapback mm -hmm. hats mm -hmm. i love <laughs> the fun that what sorry no, yeah and those here. fun those fun graphics make you think like or those fun pictures make you think oh this is going to be a fun video i want to watch this i want to see what this is about you know this guy this guy looks funny you know yeah so <laughs> or this guy is funny looking one or the other either way as long <laughs> no, as you no. click i'm happy <laughs> no i I'm, I'm thinking of the sense of humor so right 
<laughs> so I want to touch on something you said, you know, because, uh, you know, Nay suffers from depression and you're like, I, I, I don't want to be in a room talking to a bunch of people, but I can talk to the camera. So when you, when the first time you talk to the camera, did the thought cross your head, though, after the fact, all these people are going to be looking at it? Did, that, did you think about that? Did that make you freeze up at all? Yeah, I mean, it does, of course. Uh, but I think you, you really... If, if you go into it knowing I'm doing this for myself and if it helps somebody else, that's great. And if it doesn't, that's okay too, because the whole reason why I did it or make these videos is a lot is for myself. You know, I get pleasure out of the entire process, you know, doing my research, going in there and editing the video, adding some music, adding the lights, whatever it is that I do, I, that's part of my therapy. So I enjoy it. And then if someone else finds joy or gets any information out of it, that's just, that's just, uh, even better. Mm -hmm. That's that's great. That is a great so philosophy. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. But but let's not forget the content is good. Like I well, love. The, the, I can't remember the first video you sent me and said, "Hey, Jake, can I post this?" And I, I it, look when people send me stuff too. When I, when I don't reply right away, it doesn't mean necessarily it stinks. It means I get a thousand messages a day. People who have seen my Facebook, like Nadine, mm -hmm. Chris, they're like, "Holy shit!" The messages you get. Well, I have the so same when thing. I get, so get around to it. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll it's get to it, but I saw your video and I was like, wow, I like this dude a lot. Like we hadn't really, we hadn't really talked to that point before, but I was like, perfect. He gets it. Oh, he gets what's it. What's good get about your point. videos. Yeah. Make it I was, fun. Yeah. I was just going to say, you're very concise. Um, you're not, you know, you don't drone on and like you have a great speaking voice and, um, you know, a great upbeat kind of um, vibe to you so that's that's a positive thing and I love um, how you you know you get to the point you do you know a lot of your videos are short kind of like just tips facts um, you know you do motivation inspiration but it's but you get right you get the viewer interested you know you're just you have a way of um, of making it interesting without I mean your backgrounds different you have props you know you show items and stuff but it's just your whole vibe you know that comes together and I love that well those are really kind words I appreciate that um, what what I was gonna say uh, when when initially I sent out that first video to you Jason I remember I actually posted a video without asking you see we're in so many of these groups and every group has all these rules and most groups do not follow rules so guys read the rules <laughs> when you go to post in a group and, and I'm talking like this is actually for, for the listeners it's really important and that's what I really like about the thrifting board is because you guys actually follow the rules like it's not just mm -hmm. because I like this guy I'm gonna let him post or I don't like this person I'm not gonna let them post it's like hey dude it was cool that you posted the video but I sent you a direct message and then you know you you let me know hey that, that was nice but next time let me know this is my group and this is how we follow directions and and uh, I respected that from the beginning because I appreciate people's time and I think it's really important that we learn to appreciate other people's time I mean I don't expect you to answer my message the second I you know click send so um, <laughs> appreciating other people's time is also why I try to make my videos short and to the point that's yeah that's great and yeah it is they they're they're great and it's and the content is fan fantastic you know so yeah well, here's the only, here's the only problem i have with you david Are you ready uh-oh you <laughs> got a big oh, problem there is not enough videos coming from you like i'm dying for the next one i that's you know i got something i love and i want to watch and listen more and there's nothing i'm like come on give me something come on i got a video for you i got a video for you it's coming out it's uh well i made a video in your honor I don't even know if you really looked oh. at it. I mean that that video where I was promoting just uh, you know the the oh, yeah, yeah. what social media has done for thrifting in general. That was I don't want to say a plug because you know I don't need to plug you. Uh, you are who you are. But I mean it's really an appreciation uh, to Jason T. Smith and uh, and what you what you mean to the industry. How very well, thank nice. You, thank you very yeah. much. Thank you. And, and as much as I love to watch praise about me, I also like watching your tips because, you, again, too, here's everything. You talk about stuff that isn't in my Nerf guns. You talked about snapbacks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm wearing one, but I, I certainly don't know enough to ever sit down and make a video about yeah, it. Yeah, like you were talking about the mesh inside and all this stuff that I would not. I don't know. I would have never known any of that. So, yeah, great information. 
Yeah, I think I, I kind of stay in the realm of sports. Uh, it's my thing. Uh, I've played sports my entire life. So anything sports related, if anybody ever has a question, don't feel, you know, just send me a message. Say, hey, should I buy this? What could I sell it for? I'd be more than happy to uh, get to you. I probably won't get to you in two seconds, but I always have my phone on me <laughs> and I always get messages. And so I'd be more than happy to help anybody in anything sports related, sports equipment, sports teams, sports. I'm your guy. And I have a whole lot of other niches I'm good at too. That's great because that is not my niche or my comfort zone. So <laughs> I might be taking you up on that offer. Sure. And you know, that's the other key. Like if you, if you are making videos and you want to put them in the thrifting board or any group, yes, you should ask a permission first. But the other key too is don't just show up and two minutes later think you're going to get my audience for free. If you're helping. I am way more apt to go. Heck yeah. If you make a good video and I have seen you in the group participating, that's the whole key. I, we have built a community. And so when the community helps each other and then they want to be part of it, I'm cool with that. But don't show up two minutes later and be like, here's my course on how to sell wholesale. Screw you. No way. But you help? Absolutely. Like at yeah. this point now, you can post any video that's about thrifting and you don't have to ask me. You just got to put Jason approved because you're now officially approved forever. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. Uh, and actually going on what you just said, uh, piggybacking off of that, you know, there is so much, I feel like rivalry between thrifters. Like I go to my local thrift stores and I see people scanning and they're like, it's like some secret society. And I'm <laughs> the guy that's like, hey, you should totally sell that. You should totally buy that. I went up to a lady yesterday. I was at the thrift store and I was like, you have got to pick this up. If you do not buy this, I will buy this. It was a particular shirt that she was looking at. And she's looking at me like I'm crazy. And I'm like, look, like we're all here. We're not rivals. Just look at each other as colleagues in the, in the industry. We're not, there's no reason why we can't, you know, get along and stop throwing shade. That's my PSA for the night. <laughs> <laughs> And, and I'm going to get off my soapbox now. <laughs> so do you know hockey? Because someone's asking the chat, are you, are you good oh, enough with hockey? Okay. Uh, I am. A, I know enough about every sport. But yeah, if anybody has a question in particular, that'd be more than happy to answer. Oh, that's awesome. Sorry. Speaking of sports, uh, Nay and I were, were, were finding out more about you before the show. What else do you do besides making fun YouTube oh, videos? Oh, yes. So you uh, – yeah, I have two road radio shows um, on a station called the Three and Out Radio Network. I do Atlanta Braves. I live in Georgia, so I talk Atlanta Braves from 6 to 7 on Monday nights. And then on Wednesday evenings, uh, myself and my co-host, LaDonna, we talk um, all sports for an hour from 6 to 7. That's the Three and Out Radio Network. That's THR, the number three and out, all one word. You can download the free app onto your mobile device. You can go on to threeandoutradio.com or you can go on to Spreaker or iHeartRadio and listen to it live there. Very cool. Awesome. And that's my first plug of the night. Uh, <laughs> nice. Well, I, you know, I love anyone that broadcasts anything. Like, you know, I, I certainly probably won't tune in for a sports talk about the Atlanta Braves, but if you want to get out there and do something, it is so easy, isn't it, David? It's easy to get out and broadcast in 2017. Yeah, it's so easy. And I mean, when we, t when we talk about videos, uh, you really only need three things. Uh, first of all, you need something to record with. So if you have a smartphone, more than likely you have a camera. I use my mm -hmm. iPhone for all of my videos. So whether you think it's fantastic footage or you think it sucks, you know that you can use your phone. Uh, secondly, lighting. And if you're taking pictures for your items, for eBay, then you already probably have lamps laying around your house. Use those, perfect lighting. And then third, my third tip would be, um, you wanna have good sound. So if you don't have a microphone, I'd suggest either getting a lapel microphone, you can get them for like $3, a cheap one on eBay, seriously. Um, and it works just fine. Audio and then good lighting and then your content. Just stay on topic, stay to the point and um, have fun, like really just be yourself. So if you're a dry humor kind of person, be dry humor and like do it. Um, I'm like upbeat and I like say sarcastic stuff and off the wall stuff, but that's who I am. If you catch me without a camera in front of myself, if you catch me in my daily life, that's me. Like I talk to a wall if it'll listen. So that's just me. Yes, that's good. That's good advice. Um, and I always try. I, or I love that. the mic, you can just yell like, "Okay, I'm gonna talk about this peaky mug." <laughs> no, yeah, don't, I, don't I, do that though. 
No, I love. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love that keeping it real, I, and I try to do that too. You know, that's why I'm so. That's why I mean, I don't want to talk about. You know, like there's things that you know are 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 crazy to me to to tell ever to tell the world. You know, I suffer from depression. I talk about my breast cancer and all the, and it's not because I want sympathy or I want. I want to get the word out there to help other people, and that's who I am. So I'm open about it. So I love that you share that same philosophy. Yeah, absolutely. I made a video about my uh, depression and anxiety one day. I just, um, I have the I, anxiety I home, too. Yeah, I came home from work. I am medicated. Um, sometimes you just have a bad day, and uh, we all have them. Uh, when you suffer from depression or anxiety or both, mm -hmm. it's uh, it's something that some you just can't explain the feeling. And so I just got in front of the camera. I started talking for a few minutes, and I let it all out. And when I when I was done, I felt like a, a weight was lifted and I had people, people don't usually comment on videos like that, by the way, because again, they're kind of insecure. They don't want the world to know, you know, that, Hey, this is a real thing. It's happened to me. Uh, so, but people would message me. It's like, wow, this, this really made a difference. You know, yeah. even just hearing you rant about how you felt today really made me feel better. So guys, it doesn't matter what you're talking about. If you're passionate about it, if it's something that you like, if you like trolls, if you like Ninja Turtles, whatever it is, just talk about it and like enjoy mm -hmm. it. Every time. Absolutely. Um, what do you do for your work? Uh, your daily, what's your daily life like? So my daily life consists of a 40 hour a uh, week job at a warehouse. Um, wow. So I, I get a lot, a lot of my supplies in terms of packing material I get from my job, uh, but I only use recycled material. So anything that I get from the receiving department, which I work in the receiving department, well, if I open up bubble wrap, there's in it, that's what I use. Um, yeah. And so I get that. And then um, I have two boys. I have a six and a four year old. I coach um, my oldest son in baseball and basketball, assistant coach in, bas in baseball, head coach in basketball. Yeah. And so we do that, do the radio show, try to be a loving, caring husband as well. Um, and you know, we have a dog, we do our thing. And I, I just like people to know that you can do every, like they, I have the same 24 hours that you have in a day. And so I'm not trying to tell you that, you know, I'm better than you, but you really don't have an excuse for not being able to do it. I mean, you can, if you want to resell, if you want to make YouTube videos, if you want to lose weight, whatever it is, you have the time, you just have to make the time. Oh, that's so, that's so inspirational. I love it. Yeah. You're so motivated. Yeah, and so, you know, you fit all that. You, you work mm -hmm. a regular job. You, you have kids, you coach, you got a wife, you got a doggy and you sell on eBay and you do a ratio and you do your YouTube videos. So it's great. So that's the perfect segue into, Hey, let's look at some of his scores. Shall we? Let's yes. do it. All right. I love, I love, love, love when anyone sells old media or old media players that most people would overlook. And I do uh, so you love sold finding this, uh, old Sony media. Little, uh, Sony voice recorder, which is definitely 1980s technology. Yes, and I that stuff is readily available if you look in the electronics department at a thrift store. You, they, some, in my area, they're literally just like piled up on top of each other. Wow. Um, and I paid a dollar for that one. So that was to me a pretty good score. Oh, that's awesome. Heck yeah. 45 bucks. Uh, yeah. Woo. This is now here's something uh, I could, I could never pick up cause I know nothing about it. Are you a photographer? How'd you know? So I took photography in high school. I took three years of it in high school. Uh -huh. Um, and, and I just have a passion for cameras in general. Uh, anytime I see an old vintage camera, I, I'll at the very least pick it up to look at it. Uh, but this was in the jewelry case at my local Goodwill, that and some other cameras. And it looked like somebody that was a photographer had passed away and whoever had their estate sales like this looks like junk and put them all to Goodwill. I bought a camera and that lens for a combined total of $22. I sold the lens for 200. I sold the camera for 300. Wow. Cha-ching, cha-ching oh in like 24 hours. Record. Oh wow! Yeah. In twenty four oh, hours, I stumbled yeah. over it. In twenty four hours, wow, yeah. that's fantastic. Say, I was I was at work uh, when my phone went off, and I had to do a double take. I, I picked up my phone and I was like, I did, wasn't sure if someone was asking me a question about this two hundred dollar lens or if I had actually sold it. And I was like, wow, I actually sold that. And then so I my wife got a nice dinner that night. So <laughs> very nice. That is 
Awesome. All right. Staying in the electronics, so to speak. Uh, actually, so far, that's all we've done. Tell us about these little Vivo, Vivo Fit. So, yeah, the Garmin Vivo Fits, um, you know, just like the adult version of the pedometer, you know, go fit, whatever they're called anyway, uh, the Apple Watches and all those things. Uh, they have a child's version. I picked these up at a thrift store at uh, Humane Society thrift store in my area, um, wh which I like to support. And so, um, so I don't know who got these in bulk, but I picked up eight or so wow. and sold them for 50 bucks a pop. I think retail, they're like 70. So, you know, I, I paid $4 for oh, them. So wow. I wasn't losing any money at $50. That's fantastic. Did they move pretty quick. Uh, yeah, it, it was, I think somebody had like a bot buying them. Cause as soon as I'd list two, they'd sell in like five minutes. And wow. so, I'd, and it was the same person. I, I sent them all to Florida and I bought, it's listed two more and boom, boom, boom. And so they just kept selling. So, uh, I'll take it. Heck yeah. And staying in electronics. Obviously you have a theme. You like electronics. I love electronics. Um, I grew up a poor kid, so all the all the toys that I think I you know that I wish I would have had as a kid uh, uh, is what I go and try to find uh, as an adult, and then I have to tell myself that I'm not in the business of buying toys to play with them. So uh, this one, I, this was actually I can't tell you that I I knew about this product to begin with uh, when I first when I first picked it up, but it, anything brand new in the box I will obviously pick up and scan. This is a binocular set and it's like a night vision kit it's a toy and it says you can see in the pitch black up to 50 feet in front of you and so i like i said before i really hope i didn't sell that to like some isis dude um but we'll see what happens <laughs> uh, isis getting all their fine quality gear from toys <laughs> on ebay oh yes God. and uh so i only paid a few bucks for that and so that was a pretty good turnaround on that Heck yeah, 83.77. But hey, non-electronics, sporting goods. See, you're, mm. staying, you're, staying in your, you're staying in your lane there, buddy. Yes, so sporting goods. Um, if you guys see inline rollerblades, um, always stop and look at them. These are actually uh, roller hockey. Uh, the, the brand mission is one that you really want to look for. Um, bolo for sure i bought these for five dollars at goodwill and um i had them for a while but it's it it wasn't peak indoor hockey season uh when i picked them up i think it was off season so they sat for a little bit i had to drop the price a few times but at five dollars i'll hang on to them a year if i have to and you know I, I sold them for a pretty decent profit though cool so do you have we've seen your scores do you have any duds Oh, yeah, I think uh, I'm going to get raked over the coals on this one. <laughs> all right, so Dave and I were looking through his solds, and although this Tommy shirt uh, sold for $27.47, I think he sold it way too low, Nadine, because here's why. Mm -hmm. it, it, it says the king of the blues on the shirt, and the blues is more, uh, you know, Delta, Mississippi, but this whole shirt pretty much screams Bourbon Street in New Orleans to me. Okay. And so that's what they were going for. And I mean, throwing the word New Orleans in this shirt is not keyword spam. I mean, nor is leading somebody down a path that isn't real. And there's the paddle boat on the river, you know, uh, a guy playing sax. I totally would have oh, yeah. jazzed, up, jazzed up the keywords because this is a kick ass shirt. And I would have sold it for no less than 50 bucks. Wow. All right. So, okay. Now, would, you, defense, would you pay for it? I paid $2. <laughs> okay. In my defense, though. I did grow up in Central Florida. Uh, I don't know how to swim. I am. I do not like water. I, I don't like pools. I don't like lakes. I don't like rivers, beaches, anything. I don't like them. I don't get in bodies of water because in Florida, in every body of water, there's a lake or an alligator. Or excuse me, mm -hmm. there's an alligator or a shark That's true. or a jellyfish or something. So no, uh, I don't know anything about water, and therefore. That is my, I don't know anything about riverboats. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, well, that, that was a long way to go to be like, yeah, kind of. I sold a that, that was not, that was not to the point, but I don't do wa water. Okay. <laughs> long well. story short. <laughs> you went out, you took a left, you walked around, you took another <laughs> left, and you came back and hit the point. And it's funny of all but, the yeah. states to grow up in and not like water, Florida, where there's, you know, 
pools and water skiing. I mean, it's so water. I mean, you're surrounded by water, but. <laughs> and my dad was a pool technician growing up. So. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so even even Chris Bradley in chat said that that's a such a, fr a French Quarter balcony right there from New Orleans. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you you just missed the ball on the keywords here. You still made a profit, so that's a good yeah. thing. I mean, you paid two dollars, so. And and Tommy shirts are definitely not as hot as it used to be, but when you find one with great images, you pump up the keywords mm -hmm. and you you ask for a premium because this is a kick-ass shirt. I would so wear this if I found it in my size. I love this shirt. Well, great. I guess it makes for a good learning experience for everybody. And then uh, living yeah. in Georgia, you know, Atlanta fans, we call New Orleans people uh, stinky town. So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we're going to get that. well, we're going to get a lot of uh, New Orleans. <laughs> we're we're going to end up send, that, it's, it's send the hate mail here. Stinky <laughs> town. <laughs> Oh, the thumb sounds are going to be coming. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Positive is going to end us on Stinky Town. All right, cool. I like that. That's funny. Mr. Positive just threw some smack out there. All right. Uh, I didn't cuss. I didn't cuss. I used uh, that's cool. suitable, that's cool. I suitable love it. language I love it. for all ages. <laughs> I love it. Uh, well, dude, I, I thoroughly love you. I, 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 I'm bummed that we couldn't hang out. It, it didn't work out when I was in the Atlanta area. Uh, but next time we were hanging out for sure because uh, – uh, your you just what you exude is is the kind of people I like to hang around. You know, you you're a really nice guy. You 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 generally want to help people, and you have fun. And that's you know, if anyone knows me for five minutes, they know I love to have fun. Besides putting out content, helping people, but fun is always first and foremost in my brain. Yeah, well, so I live by the three F's. Mine are faith, family, and finances. So they kind of go in that order. Obviously, we have fun all the time. Uh, but next time you are in Georgia, Atlanta area, South Georgia, North Georgia, I don't care. Your house is uh, my house is your house. You're welcome to stay here and hang. And uh, I would I would be uh, blessed to have you in my presence. Uh, we, we will definitely hang. And if uh, people were that asking, are you coming well, to eBay Open? Thank you. Awesome. People were asking if you're coming to Vegas for eBay Open in July. Who's buying me a ticket? <laughs> you got to sell nah, some uh, more of them camera lenses, <laughs> and you got your own yeah. ticket right there. <laughs> um, yeah, I would love to. Uh, I have a lot going on, and unfortunately, I'm not at the uh, – my availability isn't to, to be able to take a trip like that, but um, it is in the near future. Hopefully things will open up. Uh, the goal is to uh, be working on my own and, uh, and not have oh. that 40 an hour work week. Yeah. I'd rather work 80 hours for myself than 40 mm -hmm. for someone else. Isn't that's, that the uh, truth? My motto. Oh yeah. I was going to say, Nay, do you agree? And she's already like, yeah, that's the truth. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. I work longer I did the, and harder yeah. now than I ever have, but it's so much more rewarding and enjoyable to do all the things I do yeah. because when friends when are in town want to go to Frankie's last night and we actually stayed a little too late, I can do it because even though I still got up at my normal time, I didn't get, a, get up and have to punch a clock and listen to a boss yammer in my ear. I got up to do my own thing to help out people and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So yeah, if you can all get to that goal, that is a great place to be. So we're going to end on that because that was a nice positive note. <laughs> no <laughs> more. No more. So all my New Orleans people, I do sincerely apologize. That was only no, a sports no, no, that's reference. Great. <laughs> hey, look, 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 Boston's taking it in the rear right now. Goodbye, Boston. Oh, Cats great. Are kicking yeah. their ass. <laughs> so any Boston fans right now, suck it. <laughs> oh, so we're ending on a worse note now. <laughs> yeah, heck yeah. Cavs are bringing it, baby. Bring on Golden State. Oh, We're doing it two in a row. I'm an Orlando no, Magic fan. Uh, I can't say much of anything. Yeah, yeah. You, you, your guys are on the couch watching my guys. <laughs> <laughs> so right. I want to thank Dave, Dave for coming on. Uh, definitely go to, go to YouTube. Check out his videos. He's around the thrifting board. He's a very helpful. You got questions about Nerf guns, snapbacks, uh, ladies' dresses. He can answer it all. I'll answer anything you guys have. Add me on Facebook if you'd like to uh, be my friend. That's fine too. Yep. You know, don't feel don't feel in any way intimidated to ask me a question. If I don't know the answer, I'll just tell you I don't know the answer. But I'll be more than happy to help in any way I can. Very cool. Thank you so much. Yeah, you I'm, guys. I'm getting shit awesome. right now for living in Cleveland. So yeah, it's it, it's all full circle. So do me a favor, <laughs> subscribe down below if you've not subscribed and hit like for us, please. And maybe I'll be back in a few short hours. Uh, yeah, 14, so short, 14 short hours <laughs> for the hall, and I got tons of great stuff to show you. Lots, yeah, and, lots. I have, and I have a few. Things I'm gonna too. definitely talk about this game. This game should be on your bolo list. It should be the number one on your bolo list. 
It is not going to make you the most money, but it sells consistently. So we're going to talk about that game okay. tomorrow, among a million other things. Mm -hmm. Tune in in the morning. My cute and, little friend uh, here. And we're going to talk about Nate's cute little owl friend. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll have a good time. So tune in. Thank you, David, very much. Thank you, everyone nice. who watched night. live. Mm -hmm. Watch after the fact. And uh, thank you, Nadine, for being my co-host. Oh, and thank you for being my co-host. <laughs> <laughs> we're gone. And go Cavs! Woo!